have you had like a celebrity where you're like that was one of my favorite people to meet or you mm -hmm. got to see them in person so it's like oh i thought they were this way but now i met them and they're actually a lot different oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> oh, i'm trying like not to say anything crazy okay well <laughs> i'm trying to think this is random but i met beyonce before at a party that was random oh. but i mean was very private and like classy and you know to herself so it wasn't any tea but i just didn't expect it was like just someone's birthday party and i was literally like right next to her and i was like oh my god i don't want to go up to her because she's at a party probably feels comfortable and i don't want to be that person but mm -hmm. like i ended up saying hi and she was just nice but that was just interesting because i don't ever see beyonce anywhere so i was like wow um wow. Yeah, everyone else. I don't know. She's like the only person that I was like surprised to see. But oh. mm -hmm. I love that. You know, I've never run into Rihanna. So where are you at? That's how. Well, when you run into her, call me up, Lala. I, yes. her too. I will for sure. <laughs> Outside of your successful career and traveling and just really doing you, what is your take on the dating pool? I would love to know. Uh, like the current <laughs> dating pool right now yeah <laughs> or just in general what you have been seeing Honestly, or witnessing <laughs> i think the current dating pool is terrible i think it's terrible i mean i don't know i'm sure some people out there are having the best experiences of their life and i also feel like it's my environment one i am like a homebody now if i'm not traveling or doing something like with content, whatever, like I'm in the house. I don't really go out in LA. Every now and then I'll go out, but it's a rare occasion. So I'm like, how am I, I can't really meet people if I'm in my house, but even just like DMs, I don't even answer to DMs anymore. Like, I feel like if you're DMing me, I'm just automatically not interested. I just would rather naturally meet someone in person, which is just hard these days. Everything's social media, so. I don't know. I think the dating pool sucks, but I don't even like American men anymore. So that's another thing. Oh. I'm okay with, like the difference <laughs> in how men here in America were raised versus overseas is just crazy. Like their etiquette, their manners, like they actually are respectful. I mean, not every guy in America. I've met some good people here, but yeah, that's what I've learned. Like I'm 25 now, so I've definitely dated and like that's kind of my take on it. So yeah. So Lala going international with dating too. <laughs> Definitely, my, my soulmate is not. American. I know that for a fact. Mm -hmm. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> you are hilarious. <laughs> so, are you open to dating now? Because I know you you even talked about like really just taking time for yourself. You weren't in mm -hmm. that headspace, but has that changed yeah. as of recent? So. Um, I mean, if I met my soulmate, I would get married tomorrow. Like, I feel like I'm <laughs> at the age now where I want to settle down. But then it's a balance because it's like I partially still have a lot of goals and things I want to do. And I'm the type of person when I'm in a relationship, like I'm all for that person. So I'm trying to learn how to balance that. And yeah, like I may or may not be dating, but I just am trying to prioritize myself as well because I feel like at the end of the day a lot of times women forget to like you get wrapped up in being in love and men don't do like they keep their business going so I'm trying to just learn a balance but I would love to get married tomorrow yeah honestly yeah. Really. I love that for you you're like yeah. someone you date with intention to marry like at this point yes. or you've always I been that way with intention that is the best way to put it so thank you for saying that yeah. um Oh, yeah, like if I, I if I if I'm dating a guy right now, like I tell them, I'm I'm dating with intention. Like if we don't want the same things, I don't even want to waste time. I don't want to date to go out to eat. I don't want to date for fun. Like you have to be locked in. So yeah. yeah. And you know what too is being in the spotlight too. It's like people have these narratives about you without even knowing you too. So it's probably like yeah. you're probably even more picky as someone in who is well known because you're like. What could their intention be or what do they hear about me? And, you know. Oh, for sure. Good. For sure. I mean, everyone always has like a different ex expectation of me. But I think when you really do meet me and like connect with me and I'll be honest, I'm very reserved. So it takes a lot for me to connect with people. Um, but 
I feel like when people do, they're always surprised. They're like, wow, like I didn't know you were like this or you're very nice or you're very, like there's more to me than you would think. So exactly. yeah, I just let people yeah. learn. I don't, I don't like try to force myself on people or overprove myself anymore. Like, yeah. Yeah. And that's the way it should be. <laughs> yeah.